now that we have our air intake done, we can move on to our belt. Um, on the intake side, we're going to be able to reuse our intake boot. Um, we're going to use a 2 inch to 1.5 inch reducer. The 2 inch will fit in there perfect and we'll tighten it down. Then what we need to do, uh, we'll go back and we'll we'll fine tune everything in once we uh, glue everything. Uh, well, we need to come off and 90 back towards the right side of our bike. Went to Lowe's, our Home Depot, and I got a bunch of uh, different angles. Um, got a bunch of each. Uh, um, we'll go through. We're going to use all of these. This will be used for fabbing everything up. And uh, whatever we don't use, we'll take back to Lowe's as long as we don't scratch them up. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that we stay away from our exhaust pipe. We also need to pay attention to our steering stem where our uh, tie rods come into our steering stem. Be sure that we have enough room for this to move back and forth. And so I've already fabbed up uh, the first piece. Um, I'm going to go through and as you see it's two of the long 45's. Uh, just a short piece and a long piece. It's going to go into our reducer and point towards the the right side of our foiler. <clears throat> this is going to give us enough clearance, like I said, you know, for our steering stem or our, our tie rods and also get us away from the exhaust. Alright, looking on the opposite side of our foiler this is the the piece that we just installed alright now what we need to do is we need to run it out curve it up and run it up towards the top of the full or towards the radiator our air intake for our belt is going to pop up in the center it's going to be our, our center snorkel and so what we now need to do is take another uh, two of the, of the smaller angles and slide that in to the short piece that we that we had. Uh, the short piece actually puts a little a little space in between to, to uh, so we can have our our clearance and to move everything over to the right side more and we have our long piece that goes towards the front of the foiler. Then what we've got is just a a couple more pieces uh, uh, to form our 90s, uh, form our angles, and then a, a hard 90 to pop up to the top of the foiler. All right, looking at the top of the foiler, this is the the piece that I just showed you. It's going to run down. Here's the the long piece that we've got already. I'm going to run it down. And it's going to pop up right here in the center. Put it all together and it routes right up here. One of the things that we need to, to make sure is that we have enough room and we've got a small piece right here to hold the uh, our reducer in. We need to make sure we get this as low as we can and as far back as we can uh, because we have another, we have to make room for another snorkel that's going to pop up right here on the on the right hand side of the foiler. Alright, moving on to the exhaust side of our belt housing, uh, which is was the the hardest to snorkel out. Um, we're gonna reuse the the stock um, the, the stock boot and then you can do this in black PVC but all I had was white and this uh, with these angles, but I go with a another reducer, a two to inch and a half reducer. We we'll get a little space in between to, to put up above the exhaust pipe, and we we'll do a hard 90. This is going to make the the snorkel come up and then wrap around right at the top of the of the exhaust of the header pipe. Then it's going to route open this up so you can see 
then the, the snorkel is going to come up in between this little area above our uh, above our valve cover and then ride right up the top of the exhaust all the way up to the front. <clears throat> what we'll be using it for that is a piece of inch and a half flex PVC. I bought this. You can buy this at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, it's pretty common. It's not inch and a quarter, it's inch and a half. And at the end, we have our rubber coupler that we're going to be able to clamp down to our hard PVC. Uh, to keep this from burning, we're going to take some heat wrap tape. We're going to tape this whole thing up. Um, believe it or not, this is actually going to um, going to last for a very, very long time. The only problems that that we've seen is <clears throat> right here. There, the exhaust that's coming out is so is so hot that it's actually burning. It's actually warping this inch and this this two inch side of our reducer. Well, let me show you how to fix that so you don't have any problems with that. First, we're going to take and cut a short piece of two inch PVC. And we're going to take this short two inch piece of PVC and our reducer, we're going to put it on the inside. And once all that's glued, it doubles up on the layer, on, on, the, on the wall, and actually will stop it from warping. Well, with our piece fit together, we can go ahead and glue it all and wrap it with heat tape. With our exhaust snorkel installed halfway, the uh, you can see what route it goes. Um, the the heat tape is going to protect the PVC from the uh, from the exhaust because this is also a heat shield right here, and so you're not going to have direct contact with your with your header pipes. Um, down here on the bottom. I reused the the stock boot uh, to to put our our snorkel on. Um, one of the things that I did find is where your your tightener is for your hose clamps. Uh, be sure you always have this on the the top of your oval. Um, you've got a, a real long flat spot, and especially like an egg shape. Um, you want to keep this right on the right on the 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 sharp edge of your of your oval. If not, if, if this is over towards this way, it will actually uh, just the size of this uh, will cause the oval to collapse, uh, which will cause a leak later on. Also, after you install your your flex, you will notice that it is it is pretty stiff. Uh, there's not much of a bend in it. Uh, after you ride on this a lot, uh, and it goes through a couple of heat cycles, this will loosen up and it will actually form to uh, to the shape and take a, take all the stress away from your the sensor on the back and your valve cover. And so, don't put too don't worry about this too much. Um, like I said, after it heats up and uh, and cools off and heats up again, uh, this pipe as it heats up, this pipe becomes real flexible, and then as it as it cools down, it hardens in the uh, in this form. So after about um, two or three rides, um, this right here will be fine. 